I'm Air Force Master Sergeant Mike Skaggs, and I'm a certified fitness instructor. And we're here to get you fit for duty! Show by the military, for the military, and for anyone else who wants a hardcore workout, prepare to sweat. Welcome to today's Fifth Duty. Today we're going to do some circuit training. And with circuit training here, we're going to incorporate some explosive jump training, otherwise known as plyometrics. The reason circuit training is so effective is you get a lot of workout in a little bit of time. So if you don't think you have enough time to get to the gym, you are wrong. We're going to show you that you get the most out of the little bit of time that you have. You guys ready for this? We'll start out with a quick warm-up. Get a bench. Get a band. Let's go. We'll just start with some step-ups on that bench. Come on, guys. Do each of these for a minute followed by a minute of strength training exercises, then a minute of plyometrics, cardio, whatever you want to call it, it's just circuit training. Great workout here. I promise you're going to like it, and you're going to get the most out of a little bit of time. Time is a precious commodity in today's society, if you're like me. I know most of us at home don't have a whole lot of it. So if you're sitting at that desk and you're looking at the clock at around lunchtime and you think, gosh, I only have an hour to get over there and get out, Go to the gym and try some of this circuit training. Come on. 30 more seconds. We're going to elevate that heart rate up a little bit. Then we're going to come out of this. We're going to go to a back exercise. We're going to do a compound row with our bands. We'll get on the end of the bench. Do it just like a row machine. 15 more seconds here. Hang in there. There you go, guys. Good job. Three. Two, one, grab those bands, come around the end of your bench, I want them over the top of your feet, underneath the arches, pull back, and let's just do a row. Come on, right into our sides, over the top, back, straighten out those legs, and let's rock and roll. Come on, straight back in, go ahead and row back, row it in. Good, straighten out those legs, add more resistance just like that, straight in. You see this exercise in the gym a lot? See a lot of guys doing it wrong. They like to bend forward. Here we keep our back as straight as possible and row it right back in. We got 30 more seconds of this. All right? Again, over the top of your feet, underneath your arches, and you just row it right back in. Nice form, nice posture. Now, fall along at home. You want to hit the back muscle a little different. Guys, take your palms, turn them down, and just row back in like this. Feel the difference in that? That actually incorporates a little bit of your posterior deltoid. We're doing good. Come on. Three, two, one. Drop those bands. Get up. Come on. Let's step it up. Come on. A little quicker this time. We want to get that heart rate up. We're trying to get the most amount of work in and the least amount of time. There you go. We're really chopping it out. Keep it up at home. Come on. We've got about 30 more seconds here. Doing great. Careful, don't slip off that bench. Real quick, up, down. Good. Heart rate getting up, guys. All right. How we doing back there? Smiles. That's good. That means she's not working hard enough yet. I'll get a friend on there before the end of this show, I bet you. Come on. Ten more seconds. Then we're going to do another back exercise in three, two, one. Grab those bands. This time I want you to slip it right underneath those risers on the end of your bench. You're going to sit on it or stand on it, so no worries. Up on that bench, bend over, and just take it out into a back fly. Arms straight, you bend over. We're doing a back fly. Keep those arms as straight as possible. Tension all the time. Fill it right back through there. Good. Now, the more you bend, the more you're going to feel it in your back. We got 30 seconds here. We're going to do the similar exercise a little later on for our shoulders. Keep that nice form, nice flat back. Throw it right back in the middle. How are we feeling, guys? We've got about 15 more seconds. Come on, five, four, three, two, one, drop it, let's go around, stand on the side and just 
pop up into the middle of the bench. There you go, just like that. At home, do as many of these as you can. The idea is just to keep the repetitions going in that minute that we have. So if you can't do as many as we can, just do as many as you can. If you got to take a small break, take that small break. Come on, let's keep it up. Good. Just like that. Again, this is explosive jump training, otherwise known as plyometrics. Good stuff here. Good. 15 more seconds. 10 more seconds. How we doing? Good. Now, careful when you're on it. Just step up into the middle of the bench. I don't want you to fall off the side. Three, two, one. Go ahead. Let's come around and let's do some push-ups. Come on. We'll do a minute of these incline push-ups. Come on, we got a minute here. A little different angle from a normal push-up. It's like an incline chest press. You see in the gym, I'm going to check the form. You've got about 30 seconds, you're doing good. Keep it up. Nice, tight abs. Notice how those elbows stay at 90 degrees. Look at this. If I had a tray of drinks and set it on his back, it wouldn't spill, right? Don't spill the drinks. You be kicked out. All right, let's go. we got 20 more seconds here. Keeping up at home. You are doing great. We are working. Come on. Three, two, one. To our feet. This time I want you behind the bench and I just want you to hop up, hop down. Good. So make sure you're landing solidly in that bench. If you got to go one, you can do it like that. But I want two. If you can, a hop. 30 more seconds. Many as you can. Check their form. Good. She's coming up to where she's safely in the middle of the bench. Not in danger of falling off. Look at this guy. He's an animal, I tell you. We're, that's what we're working on with you at home. You'll be just like him before this is over. Let's go. Come on, 15 more seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. On our backs. I want you laying down. Grab that band. Blow the handles if you need to. And we're just going to do a peck fly. Take it out and in. Big old bear hug. Nice arch on that back. I'm checking some form here. There you go. You've got enough tension there. She's going to squeeze right there. If there was an orange, she'd be making dudes. Again, look at this animal here. You're going to look just like that. Keep this up. Come on, we got about 30 more seconds here, guys. So far, so good, right? Keeping up at home. Good on you. Just keep it up. We are doing so well here. Come on. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up. Come on. We won't hop. We're going to hop behind our bench. So let's just hop it out. Come on. It's like we're jumping a rope. You can make believe. If you have a real jump rope, go ahead and use it. Good stuff here. Straight up, straight down. Got 40 more seconds. Then we're going to start working on some of our arms, chest, back, large muscle groups, the small muscle groups, the we'll lower body a little later on, so keep up the good work at home. 20 more seconds. How are we doing, guys? How are we doing back here? Smiling still. I'll make her frown. I can promise you, she won't be as happy at the end of this workout. That's what you want, right? You want to work out real hard so you don't have anything left. When you're done, that means you maximize your results in the gym. Three, two, one. Grab that band. Do some shoulder work. I want you up on the end of the bench where your band is. 
You don't pull it up and let's just go straight out. This time, sort of like that back fly we were doing, except we're coming straight up with our arms. We're going to take off. This is hitting our medial deltoid. Good stuff here. I'm going to check form. Pay attention. See how her arms are straight? She's coming up just as high as she can go. Don't release that tension. Again, we have animal here. If I can show you those shoulders, you'd be afraid. Be very afraid. Come on, we have about 30 more seconds of these. Shoulders aren't going to get burned out. Follow along at home. I want you to keep this up. We're going to go to a break. Grab quick water and towel off if you need to. As for us, we're going to continue exercising. We'll meet you right here after the break. Keep it up, guys. Welcome back. We're going to finish these up. We got five, four, three, two, one. Get behind that bench again. Now we'll do some side hops just to the side. We just hopped straight up and down earlier. This is like a boxer. There's a line. You're just jumping over that line. Good. Great for your calves. Good for your heart rate. We're just working away. Keep it up at home. You just had a little break. We didn't. So come on, get with it. You guys can pick up the pace a little bit. We got 30 seconds. Did another shoulder exercise. Again, hopefully by now you're feeling this. You realize that this is a difficult little workout. Not too hard. So you're going to feel like you want to feel at the end of it. Tired. And that means you work hard. That's the best thing you can ask for out of a workout. If you leave the gym, feel like you've got a lot of energy left, you didn't work hard enough. That's not how we're going to be today. That's not how you're going to be. Three, two, one. Back on that bench. We're going to do a military press with these bands. Again, step on the end. And just take it up, down. Don't let those elbows drop below 90 degrees. This focus is on that medial deltoid, that posterior deltoid. These are great. I'm going to check their form. Pay attention at home. Look at this. She's coming down, pressing straight up. You feel that right there, right? That's what you should be feeling at home. 30 more seconds. So I'm going to check on the animal here. Look at that. Nice tight abs. Nice strong shoulders. Looking good. Come on, 20 more seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop them. There you go. Burn, right? Let's go. Let's hop back up in the middle of that bench. Just like this. Over to the side, up in the middle. Over to the side, up in the middle. Good. You have to hold your hands out here for a little bit more balance. You can do that. Definitely don't want to step off the side of that bench. Safety, safety, safety. As many of these as we can. Nice solid landing. Nice strong push up. Good. We want your kids, if they're looking at you right now, we want them to think you're having all kinds of fun. Let them join in the fun with you. Good stuff. Come on, 15 more seconds. Come out of this, do some dips on the bench, work on our triceps, our shoulders. Come on, five, four, three, two, one. Come around the front of that bench, shoulders back, elbows back, up on those heels. Just do some dips, just like that. I'm going to check form. I don't want you too far out from that bench, so come back just a little bit. There you go. Keep these elbows nice and tucked. Good. Feel the difference in that? Look at this guy here. What happens when you play with knives? You get cut up. Come on. We got 30 more seconds here. We're transforming your body 
into lean, mean, fighting machines. I don't care if you sit behind a desk at work all day. You're still a fighter. We're all warriors. In today's military, 10 more seconds, we're going to make you feel like a warrior. Come on. Three, two, one, up. Let's go. Come on, chop it up on the bench. Good. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Quick chop here. Nice, solid landings. All moves that we've done before in this workout. So it's nothing new. Keeping it simple. 30 more seconds. How we feeling, guys? Heart rate up? Good. See? She's still smiling, though. It's all right. I mean, she's having fun and feeling good. Hopefully you are too. Come on, 10 more seconds. We're rocking out here. Working out hard. Three, two, one. Grab these bands. Let's do some bicep curls. Arms out to the side. And we're just up and down. Only thing moving is your elbows. I'm going to check form. So listen to my cues at home. Elbows nice and tight to the side. The only thing that moves is those. Feel that in your biceps where you want to feel it. Again, need a pair of scissors. This is the guy to get it who can cut up anything. Look at those arms. Come on, 30 seconds. How we feeling, guys? Biceps burning? Harder than it looks, right? You guys have spent a lot of time in the weight room. Don't think that this is effective. Think again. You ladies, you don't spend any time in there because you don't want to bulk up. Don't worry. You're not going to get huge unless, the, unless that's the way you lift. We're doing some endurance exercises for our muscles. Get them nice and tight, strong. Three, two, one. Come on. Up on the end, let's just step it up. A little slower pace. We're sustaining our endurance. Good. Not quite the quick chop we were doing earlier. We're stepping up, stepping down. We'll pick it up on the next set of cardio movements. We're going to come out of this, do some squats. Good compound exercise that works our quads, hamstrings, glutes, whole lower body. Feeling good. We got 15 more seconds. Feeling good, guys, right? As you can see, the sweat's starting to drip off of us. It means we're working out hard. Come on. Three, two, one. Up on that bench. Grab those handles. Again, on the end where the band's under, let's just do some squats. You're down. You go back to a natural sitting position. I want you to throw that butt back. You don't want to miss the chair at work where everybody laughs at you. Look at the form. Look how good that is. Straight up, straight down. All the focus is right here on those quads, those hamstrings, your glutes. Feels good. Great compound exercise here. We're doing so good. You guys are doing great. We have about 20 more seconds. Legs burning yet. I know they are at home. I heard you. You don't think I can hear you, but I can hear you here. Come on, we're hurrying. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop them. Come on, back to the end of that bench. This time we're going to hop up. At home, if you can just do the... That's fine. Just keep moving. That's the idea here. I'm gonna come out of this and do some calves. Our workout time is almost up. I know you're sad to hear that. Come on. 
20 more seconds. There you go. We're just continuing to move. You can hop, hop. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Somebody wants to get done. 1. All right, up on that bench. Grab those handles and set this, huh? I want you to face the opposite direction. Heel slightly off that bench. And just do some calf raises. Come on. Good. Don't let those heels drop too far. Look at that, guys. Chest, back, thighs, tries, shoulders, quads, glutes, hamstrings, and calves. All in one workout. You did a good job at home. We're going to continue doing this exercise. Then cool down. You do the same. Finish this up in about 10 seconds. Then just start doing marching in place to bring that heart rate down and listen to the good doc bring you tips on training smart and staying strong. Come on, keep it up, guys. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Let's march in place. Behind that bench, let's just march it out. Pull it down. Good. Hello, I'm Dr. Kemplish, and today we're here to talk about your amazing cartilage. You know, human joint cartilage really is miraculous stuff. Together with healthy synovial fluid, your cartilage glides much smoother than ice on ice. Unfortunately, once it wears out or gets damaged badly, it can't heal itself. So it's important to be smart and to take care of what God gave you in your joints. This means eating a well-balanced diet, getting lean, and maintaining flexibility and strength. Cartilage doesn't have a blood supply in a standard sense. It imbibes its nutrients through the synovial fluid. Now, the synovial fluid, which nourishes your cartilage, is an ultrafiltrated plasma that is derived from your bloodstream. So when speaking about your synovial fluid, to a large degree, you are what you eat. If you live on nacho-flavored tortilla chips and grape soda, then rest assured you'll have elements of both of these in your joints. Stick to a well-balanced, protein-rich, but lean-protein diet with plenty of vegetables and plenty of water. A multivitamin is also recommended. Obesity can wear out your joints faster, and it can make joints hurt that normally wouldn't. Every pound of extra weight we carry on our stomachs is six pounds of extra burden that the knee joint feels. So let's do ourselves a favor. Shed that extra flab, lose that spare tire, and help save your joints. It's sad when I meet patients who are more concerned about their car engines and the oil that they put in them than the magnificent moving parts inside their own bodies. So keep your priorities straight and don't become a cartilage loser. Together, let's train smart and stay strong. Welcome back. I know you got some good tips from Commander Kevlish on training smart and staying strong. We're continuing our cool down and gonna continue to stretch, switch it up. We hope you join us next time on the next Fit for Duty.